गुड आफ्टरनून एंड जय हिंद आई एम ओशी मैम एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विथ माई एल एस क्लास हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो लास्ट क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन द आर एफ पी बुक द मैंगो ट्री टिल पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सॉरी पेज नंबर नाइनटीन एंड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन वी विल स्टार्ट टूडे in any case if you have missed the classes or mix uh, missed my uh, clippings on youtube so i will quickly uh, recap the pages or the story there were four children ram munni shivani and ravi they are very good friends and they lived in the village of haripur and it was the summer vacation and one day they decided to go to the forest and they went over there in the morning time and uh, shivani was uh, play, reading the book uh, ram was sleeping ravi was moving and <coughs> whistling and munni was playing on a flute and then ram fell asleep and he woke up after half an hour and he said i'm feeling hungry i'm feeling hungry and thirsty too say so, so they looked here and there for water they found a well they drank water and after that they were feeling very very hungry so they saw a mango tree at a distance and they were planning what they can do to eat the mangoes so they proposed the idea to cut the tree from here itself but shivani said no we cannot cut the tree otherwise the tree will die so ram ravi said then we will cut the branches shivani said no no next year we will not have any mangoes so again ravi said okay we can do i am tall so i will shake the tree like this and all the mangoes will fall down so shivani said no no we can't even do that because other children will come in and they will not be able to find any mangoes on the tree so what can we do we will only pluck the mangoes which we like which we can eat so what will happen because ram is fat and ravi is thin and tall ravi will stand on ram's shoulder just like this and they will pluck the mangoes from the mango tree so with this they all clapped and we ended over the there so we'll start with page number 21 Soon there was a big pile, big pile of mangoes. Oh, yummy mango! Yes. So there was a big pile. Ravi came down. Ravi was standing here and he was plucking all the mangoes from the tree like this, like this, like this, like this. And soon there was a big pile of mangoes at the bottom of the tree. ram rubbed his shoulders because it was paining he rubbed ram rubbed his shoulders because it was paining because ravi was standing on his back for a long time and he was plucking the mangoes from the tree shivani washed the mangoes from the nearby well so what did shivani do shivani washed the mangoes uh, from the water that they fetched from the nearby well okay the children sat down and they ate many mangoes they ate many mangoes wow i am feeling so hungry as well i also want to eat mangoes do you want to eat mangoes you like eating mangoes these children loved eating mangoes and they are loving it right now they were no longer hungry so these children were not hungry because they ate many mangoes we must go now now munni said we must go now yes my mother will be angry now her mother will be angry because they are out of the house since morning time so munni said that my mother will be angry so we have to go home now so Yes my mother will be angry said Ram now Ram is saying yes my mother will get angry we have to go home now now Ravi said it's getting dark Ravi said it's getting dark and the village is far off 
So Shivani said, okay, let's go. I want to take one mango for my sister. Now Munni said, I want to take one mango for my sister. So Munni takes one mango for her sister. I will take one for my brother, said Ravi. Now Ravi said, I will take another mango for my brother. I will take one mango each for my mother and father. Now Ram said, I will take one mango for my mother and one for my father. Shivani also took mango for her grandmother. Now Shivani also took one mango for her grandmother. Bye bye mango tree. So all of the children, the four children, they said, Bye bye to the mango tree. Bye bye. Bye bye. We will come again someday. Some another day. Uh, sorry. We will come again some other day. So the children waved to the tree and they said I will come back again some other day. Ram started to run. Ram started to run. They all had a long way to go. His friends ran behind him. The mango tree smiled. Now this is the mango tree. And it smiled. Because. Wow. Because the children took care of the mango tree. They did not harm or hurt the mango tree. So the mango tree was also happy. And his friends ran behind him. With this we are on uh, page number 24 children. It's okay. The, the mango tree smiled and the leaves and the branches waved out to the children. So the branches waved out to the children. The parrots and the sparrows and the mena. They also came back again to the mango tree. Wow. And they were also happy. And Menas all returned. They sat on the tree and chirped merrily. Chirped means they started talking. The talking of the birds is known as chirping. C-H-I-R-P. Chirp. Their tree was safe. So their nest was also safe. If the children would have cut down the tree, the tree would have died. So their nest would have been lost. The, their homes would have been lost. The children did not cut the tree. So all the birds came back to the tree. And there were still many mangoes left on the tree. Can you see? Can you see children? The birds are also back to their places. And... We have so many mangoes. And there were so many mangoes left on the tree for the hungry birds and hungry children. So anyone who wanted to come and eat the mangoes, they were welcome to do so. With this, we come to the end of the RFP book, The Mango Tree, page 25, finished. So we learned... From the story that we should not waste things and we should only take or use or consume only the quantity we will be able to eat. We should not waste because we have access to a lot of things. Because we can get a lot of things that doesn't mean that we will not take proper care of them. Right children? So only you will take things which you can eat. Or which you can take care of. You should not waste anything. So bye bye from the mango tree. Bye bye from the four little children. And bye bye from Oishi ma'am. And this is the end of today's LS class. Thank you and Jai Hind. Happy learning and stay safe. Bye bye children.